How's that? My first time filming outside. Learning new things. Boyfriend is skating in the basement. You can hear it throughout the entire house. Got myself a lovely little, a lovely little graveyard and uh, my dog who protects me. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Sophia Crabb and today I wanted to talk about my relationship with marijuana. I've been a frequent user for about eight years, but as of August 2019, my relationship with marijuana has changed. So I just wanted to talk about how I used to use it, how I use it now, and how I managed to change my relationship with marijuana to ensure that it is solely benefiting my life as opposed to hindering me in, I don't know, subconscious ways. Let's talk backstory. I started smoking weed when I was very young, younger than the general uh, population would probably approve of. In the beginning, it was just psychedelic and fun, a guaranteed laugh attack, and then something shifted when I started to struggle with anxiety for the first time when I was 15, and I actually had my first panic attack while I was high, and I began to associate my anxiety with weed. You would think that that would like turn me off from smoking forever, but I started to realize that weed and my anxiety were two separate things, and the weed would, yes, trigger my anxiety, but the anxiety was its own entity that was inside of me. So I took a break from smoking during that anxious phase in my life. Then 16 to 17 was my biggest like stoner years. I smoked every single day, and it's insane, but I do kind of miss that carefree attitude where I could just be high around my family, I'd be high at the grocery store, I'd smoke before class, I would get high and go to a coffee shop to do my homework. It was just like all day, every day, like morning to night, I was able to be high and just not feel groggy. Like it was, it was great, honestly. And then when I turned 18, I went to Nepal. What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> You're gonna, be, you're gonna be my lap dog. It was easy to find weed in Kathmandu and out in the villages. It's a lot more mellow than the weed we have in America. It's not like synthesized to the point where the THC levels will just knock you on your ass. It's actually very mellow and it still has seeds in it. So I had like little joints and uh, the seeds would like pop as you smoke. Mm, good days. Again, 19 to 20, I would smoke every day. It was just a habit. I used it as a way to unwind and relax after waitressing shift so every day when i got off work i'd be ready to smoke a joint and it was just at that point something i did out of habit i wasn't really evaluating what the weed was doing to my mind how it was affecting my life i was just doing it because i was so used to doing it since i was a kid i mean i was still a kid but since i was like a kid kid um that I wasn't questioning how it might be affecting me and it was only last year when I started to realize that smoking weed might have been negatively impacting my life. I was becoming very paranoid. I was just, you know, convincing myself that everyone was out to get me, playing victim to the world. I think that that mindset was an indirect result of smoking weed every day without having respect for the plant, without using it as a medicine, just kind of using it as a crutch for my emotions. And I was also mixing weed with tobacco, which I think is great, but I do think that it caused kind of like a double addiction because I don't think that weed itself is physically addicting. It is mentally and emotionally addicting, but mixing it with tobacco, I did definitely have like a physical pull to want to smoke every night. I started to realize that it felt like it was negatively impacting me. I wanted to take a break, but I just always had it around and the people I hang out with would smoke and it was just like, it was hard for me to take a step back and uh, reevaluate my relationship with weed. So um, August of 2019, I went to Sweden with my grandma. It's just not the time to smoke. Uh, I didn't know how to source it, it wasn't available to me, it wasn't around me, and during that entire month in Sweden, I 
just didn't smoke weed. So by the time I came home in September, I didn't have cravings anymore to smoke every night, and I actually didn't want to smoke. Uh, it was a very freeing feeling to not need that release at the end of the day and it I was able to be around it without craving it I was able to hang out with people while they're smoking and not feel the need to partake so I did another five months when I came home no weed and so that was like a six month total break where I completely was not smoking weed also somehow I was only gone for one month, but somehow by the time I came home, CBD had like uh, spread across the East Coast and somehow there was just like a CBD dispensary on every corner in my town. So that was cool. I was like, man, too bad I'm not a teenager now. Just this past January, I started to consider reintroducing weed back into my routine and hold on. Yo, there's a busy ass road right there. I'm sorry if this is terrible quality. Like, this is better than listening to my boyfriend just like flipping in the basement on his skateboard. So, excuse my amateur skills. What was I saying? Since I had spent six months without smoking, then when I did smoke, it was easy for me to recognize exactly what the weed is doing to my mind, how it's affecting me, and the circumstances in which I can tell it's enhancing my life. So, I've set some ground rules for myself now. I only smoke, first of all, CBD, which is awesome. It's completely legal. I can just go down to a dispensary and uh, get bud legally, which is absolutely amazing. CBD is great for me because I never really liked getting balls high anyways. Like I like that chill shit. Bro. Uh, I only smoke when I'm gonna work on a creative project when I'm going to read a book, when I'm going to do yoga, cook a meal, watch a movie, like there's certain activities that I find are better when I'm high or I'm more productive if I'm high and uh, I found that weed is actually a great tool for creativity and productivity. As long as I have a task in mind, then the weed enhances my enthusiasm to do that task. So. Personally, for me, it is very motivating and stimulating and uh, really is a great tool for creativity. So I have those ground rules for myself. By setting ground rules for myself, I feel like I'm starting to be able to use weed as a plant medicine and I have respect for it and I honor the way that it enhances my life instead of just doing it out of habit. And I would like to say weed, like any substance or any medicine, can be abused, but that doesn't mean that the plant itself is bad. It's because we are human and we tend to make a lot of mistakes within one lifetime. Anyone can get in the habit of abusing a medicine or whatever it might be, and that is why I am a big advocate for harm reduction of drugs through education. I feel like there is a difference between a plant medicine and a drug. A drug is like the synthesized chemical to get you high, whereas the plant medicine, uh, it's not just the chemical, there is a spirit that guides you through the journey. What made it possible for me to now have a healthy relationship with weed was taking that six month break and coming back to it with a clear head and taking the time to really evaluate how it affects my mind and creating a relationship with it where I ensure it is solely benefiting my life and not hindering me in any way, not, you know, keeping me in a paranoid mindset that is going to hold me back in life. So if you're a long time smoker and you feel like weed might be hindering you right now or you're questioning whether you should continue smoking, uh, maybe consider taking a break and coming back to it with fresh perspectives and remember that it's not the plant that's bad, the plant is just a plant. You can decide how you want to work with that plant and yeah. That's what I gotta say about it. Uh, this has been a beautiful experience coming out here. Thank you so much for watching this. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content coming soon. See you in the next video.
Pages turn 